This week we have got a few more little tips, bit of an update of what the market is doing and we've got our battery again so have we managed to recover it? To double double check your fuse is by doing that and it'll make... Another busy week, it's it's just not stopping at the minute, uh, it just it just seems to keep on going and at this rate we're going to start running out of stock so uh, we're going to be doing a, a market update soon we can't buy anything at the minute which is really frustrating we've got so much stock everywhere that we're now starting to have to put things in the new unit um, we just haven't really got the space for it here we had a look at this Buccaneer clip we was doing a couple of warranty bits and a few upgrades on that that was on our Friday video um, now just trying to get all of the sold vans out so it's just it's just we're on this treadmill at the minute where um it's Not just stopping. getting yeah it's just getting quicker and quicker and quicker and we're, we're struggling to keep up so we're just trying to just trying to keep up um we are going to run out of stock, but we're not being able to get the vans out quick enough to be able to get more stock in. And we've just, we haven't got room for any more stock at the minute. So we are going to be probably in about two, three weeks looking absolutely desolate. Uh, and we're going to need to get more stock in. So hopefully by that time, we'll have some money back in and we can go out and buy some more vans. Um, we've been doing a little tip on the, on the battery. And obviously to have got your battery off, if you need to give it a good charge up you're going to need to have disconnected your battery and then obviously reconnect your battery back up now a couple of issues that can occur when you do that is if for any reason um the fuse goes when you reconnect your battery up you might not get any power come back into the actual caravan so today we're going to look at if that does happen what do we need to do so you'll have connected your battery up and Go to put your panel up above the door and just absolutely nothing. You'll just not get any power coming through. And you'll be thinking, hang on a minute, what's happened? Has, has my battery gone dud? Um, has this dipstick told me to like take my battery off and charge it and now it's ruined and it's ruined my caravan? Well, few things, few places to, to actually start. And first one is if you've got a charger unit like this, we need to make sure that it's actually turned on on our main Swiss our main system shutdown. So make sure that your button is in. And if you've got a different type of charger unit, just make sure that it's actually in the on position. Next one is our fuse. So again, if you've got a Swift or a lot of the other caravans now, they'll normally have a a little list of what your actual fuses are and what we're going to be looking for on this particular one we're looking for auxiliary supplies so check your auxiliary supplies and then see if they've got a caravan battery or even a motorhome battery and then we'll check the fuse whichever one that is if you can't find anything um, that is sort of relating to it it's going to be your bigger fuses so either a 20 or a 15 amp fuse is most likely what it's going to be and then if you're still not getting anywhere with those just go through and check all of your fuses within here um, we did a, a video on the charger and it's basically i'll grab a i'll grab a tester in a minute and i'll show you how to check your fuses and what settings to put that on so we've got our little tester and what we're looking for is our little continuity test so it's going to look like a little speaker and basically what that will do is when we then put our electrodes together our probes we'll probe it you'll hear it make a noise and that is basically telling us that we've made a circuit so we've made um we know that that loop then is is working and doing what it should be doing so when we test our fuses that's what we need to hear um, we can obviously visibly see in the middle that it's all connected but sometimes we've had it before where it's actually broke the connection and you can't really see so the way just that sound it'll make the beep that tells you then that there's a constant circuit between that fuse and that fuse is then all good and you've not got an issue with your fuse so that is what we're going to do to test our fuses 
so that you can actually check those. The other place then to check is you'll have the battery leads coming out at the back of the battery. Let me just put some light on in there. So at the back of your actual battery box, the leads will come into the actual caravan. You need to make sure your battery is disconnected at this point. Um, doesn't particularly matter. No, yeah, not going to get a shot. No, no, no. It's only 12 volts, so it won't hurt. It might just make your hair stand on air uh, and end. But, yeah, it's not going to really do any real damage. But you'll have your black cable coming out of the actual back of the battery box itself. And then the chances are it should be coming up to a little fuse like that. So in here, we've actually got... A second well a, a direct fuse so this is going to fuse the the battery and the chances are nine times out of ten it's this fuse here that's gone so we can remove that out and we can test that and then swap that fuse over if that's what it is um, but basically it's either going to be that fuse or a fuse in here and again it's going to be a bigger fuse either a 20 or a 15 amp um, fuse that will be causing you the issue now, and it should be you have a look in our Amazon shop. So it's worth buying a box of fuses to keep somewhere safe. Yeah, just keep just keep some safe. And that then is how you're going to check your fuses. And again, it's the same thing if you've got a load, a load of lights that aren't working, uh, your toilet pump isn't working. We've done videos on those before and we'll pop those into the description. But that's a real good way of checking your fuses just to make sure that the actual fuse is working because nine times out of ten, that's where the issue is going to be. Um, I mentioned earlier we've got a lot of sold vans and it seems to be a lot of first timers still and I was talking to a couple that bought today actually and I said I'm, I'm quite surprised that we've got so many first timers still coming into the market I sort of half expected that we might have had a bit of a slowdown on the first timers um, now that you can go abroad a little bit more but I, I actually think I actually think that it's gone the opposite way. I think people might have gone abroad, found out what a faff it is, and they've gone, you know what, we're going we're gonna to stop in the UK and we're going to carry on caravanning. I'm surprised um, there are more from, um, like, Covid times that are coming in and swapping and upgrading. I thought that might be what... I think, I think we will possibly get that, but again, that's probably going to be a little bit later on now into the year. Um, but yeah, a very, very big shock. Uh, our Friday video, I said we'd spoke to a delivery driver and he it says it, it's just mental. It's just absolutely mental. Um, so whether or not it's all going to come crashing down later on, we will see. But at the moment, it's, it's, just, it's just, I don't know. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's stopping. And I think if things were going to slow down... I think it would have happened the back end of last year, which is when we sort of sat on our hands a little bit and sort of tried to watch what was happening and see what the market was doing. But it just seems it just seems like it's non non stop at the minute. Only time will tell. As I say, we've 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 run out of money, uh, so we can't buy any more stock at the moment. But hopefully, once we've got a big chunk of these out, we'll we'll stop getting the new vans back in again i'd have liked to have had a few more new vans in that we could have sort of showed you um but yeah let's see what happens next week and see whether we bought anything because this week we just we just can't buy anything unfortunately so thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place little update on the battery that we were trying to recover now it's been off and on charge for the last week so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a bit of a test been off uh, and sort of having a bit of a a run down in all honesty so let's have a look what is going oh we're low we're low we've got it we've run it maybe a little bit low on the on the voltage so we're 11.4 volts camps 30 oh 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 so we're starting to get life back into the battery it's actually saying now the battery itself is okay but we need to recharge it now it's took a week of um on and off on and off on and off so if we can just give this another bit more cranking up now i think we might have got there with it now 
considering now considering that a new battery is for this sort of size 110 amp is going to be about 100 pounds um charger for one of the little smaller ones 25 quid it can sometimes be worth it but you're not always going to recover every single battery um so we're looking good but i'm going to pop it on charge and we'll come back to it and see once it's had another charge up what it's looking like um, another thing is if you are charging the battery and it starts to sort of swell if it's if it looks like it's if it's eaten too many curries um, that's the time to sort of stop um, if it starts blowing up expanding and sort of misshaping um, the battery isn't going to be recovered and it's it's gone past it so if you get to that point stop um, and get rid of the battery go and, go and weigh it in and get sort of five or six pound for it at the local uh, scrapyard and go and buy yourself a new one